This is my hand, take it now, it's yours to keep. I do a whole bunch of stuff for a living these days, but music is the biggest part of my life. Hey! I'm Alan Doyle. This is here, Vancouver. The pride and joy of Petty Harbor, Newfoundland, <laughs> Mr. Alan Doyle. Now, I would refer to you as a triple threat, but that's basically sing, dance, and, and direct. But I mean, do you dance? Is that in your repertoire as well? No, no, no I'm only, I'm only, a, I'm not even a single threat, really. <laughs> uh, no, and I'm terrible at dancing, and uh, but I, I, I have. Oh, geez, it's getting to coming together, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Singing a few songs yeah. and writing a book and acting in TV shows. It's starting to add up. <laughs> but you're, you're, you're relatively mobile on stage. You're not just locked off in a static shot. Yeah. So there must be some movement. Well, that's it. I'm doing it. I'm dancing the night. That's <laughs> it. <laughs> I don't know. You know, I've always been... Physical coordination has always eluded yeah. me. <laughs> the newest record is called So Let's Go. And, and I was telling you, I mean this sincerely, from start to finish, there's not a bad track on the CD. Thanks, man. And it's more pop influence, and that's what the critics are saying. By the way, the critics are praising it. Yeah, I know. That must be a nice thing it's to say. It's very strange. <laughs> so more pop influence. You did you deliberately set out to to sort of alter your your style of, of writing a bit? Yeah, I wanted to write pop songs. I wanted to write a pop record, like you know, with. But I wanted it centered around, you know, something that was very true to home for me. You know, some kid from Pity Harbor playing his mandolin and whistling or something. Mm -hmm. You know, I guess I was sort of inspired a lot by a lot of the pop music that's been I've been hearing for the last year or whatever. You know, whatever it's you know one of the European sort of DJ guys that's just a guy on a guitar in the middle of this huge pop production or some Philip Phillips record or Ed Sheeran or something, you know, it's like, like there's these big, huge pop productions that are just really, really centered around something very small and honest. And I thought, you know, well, I'm just some guy from Petty Harbor telling my story. Why, why couldn't that be the center of a big pop thing? You know, and, and that was the whole inspiration of the record. And when you talk about from someplace very small with Petty Harbor, you grew up with basically one access to one media outlet, which was CBC. Yeah. And I understand that, according to your book, didn't you like fashion a little uh, yeah, my brother, hanger? Yeah, my hair? brother Byrne is much smarter than me, and uh, he's able to figure stuff out. And he, uh, he fashioned a coat hanger, and we used to put it on this stick, and we could put it out of a window and rise it up on like this clothesline contraption he had made up a pulley to get it up a little higher above the roof. And we could pick up like Detroit radio stations skipping off the ocean and stuff like that. And you turned it just the right way and the wind was right, you'd hear like Motown. Mm -hmm. You'd hear, and we used to stay awake as late as we could listening to music. And then he rigged away that this cassette player he had, he could tape uh, two 90 minute tapes. So we'd tape it all overnight and we'd listen to it the next day. Yeah. And that was the first time I ever really heard, you know, when I was a very little kid, American pop music and stuff. I heard. You know, later in the 80s, I got, you know, like everyone else, when we got a bit of TV, we got to watch music videos and stuff, so. But that was really my first, that and my uncle's record collection. Right. Yeah. So despite the, the inherent Celtic music that probably abounds in, yeah. in your area, you had a lot of other musical influences yeah. coursing to your veins early Yeah, by the time I was a teenager, you know, I was uh, I'm pretty much a regular in my uncle Ronnie's band. And they played, you know, five generations of music. I mean, they played 50s music. And they play Buddy Holly and like, and they play Beatles and they play rock and roll and they play country and they play jigs and reels and they play. So not only was I aware of it, I was actually playing it, like live. And and uh, my uncles were, you know, they were younger than my father, but they were say, you know, I'm 45, they'd be late 60, you know, 10 or 12 or 15 years older than me. And in the late 80s, or the late 70s, early 80s, they had like Eric Clapton records and, and average white band and Cream rock and roll, you know, stuff that the guys those age would have liked. So I just sort of, I was really lucky, despite being from a small town, to get exposed to a lot of different kinds of music as a little kid. And, and I was never, I think the point I tried to make in the book about it, I was never told that I was supposed to like one thing and not another thing, you know. I didn't know that most kids my age liked Def Leppard instead of John Denver. I kind of liked them both, yeah. you know, and I didn't yeah. think there was anything wrong with that. Yeah. How are fans responding to uh, to the new pop ish album? It's amazing so far. Like it's just I think the, the people hear it and they, the first thing they hear is me. Yeah. You know, and they're I think they're they're happy that I still sound like me and the trappings around it are are kind of you know new and fresh. But they still hear my honest story and my honest right. songs. And like you said, like I think most people's reaction is kind of like yours. They just feel like it's just a real 
honest to God collection of good songs. Mm -hmm. And a good song is a good song regardless of whether it's countryish, popish, no. symphonic, whatever yeah. it may be. Yeah. Now, Brick Big C is this on hiatus or is this yeah. is this done for a while? Well, it's on hiatus. We had a planned hiatus for after the uh, uh, 20th anniversary tour. Uh, towards the end of the tour, Sean announced that he's leaving, so that complicates it quite a bit because we have to sort of administratively deal with Sean leaving. Yeah. And then, of course, creatively, me and Bob had to dream up how uh, we would do it without him. You know, so that's you know, it's complicated and uh, time-consuming. But um, me and Bob still want to play it. Right. In, you know, in Great Big C, still one of the Great Big C's. Why don't you do a tour with Russell Crowe? <laughs> that wouldn't hurt ticket sales, would it? I've done that before too. That's good fun. I mean, we actually had got together myself and Russell and a bunch of us in L.A. a few days ago. And, we, we, we did a record of Crow Doyle songs that's going to come out later this year. Right. We might actually do a little tour of it. No, I, you, didn't you produce a record for him? Yeah. Does he have the yeah. musical gene? I've, I've never heard him perform. Oh, yeah. He's been doing musical and musical theater since he was a kid, right? right. And uh, my, I mean, my favorite thing to do with him is write songs. He's a great yeah. lyricist. He's yeah. incredible. Yeah. He's like, you know, I think, I, I don't know if it comes exclusively from being an actor or whatever. And yeah. You know, part of the job is to re-sculpt things to make them cooler to say. Mm -hmm. So he has a real, a real neat way of making things, you know, a little bit more poetic than they were a minute ago. Yeah. And, and it's kind of a skill and attention to detail that I don't possess, you know. And then, of course, coupled with the fact that he's from a different part of the world, right? Yeah. So, you know, what I think is possible for a song is completely different for him, you know. So it's, it's a, cool, a cool kind of musical friendship as well as a good, you know, honest to God friendship. Good, good well, cool. let's stick with cool music. This is So Let's Go. Seriously, great album. Thanks, Thanks very much. Appreciate it. Start a concert. This job is easy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's grab a snap. We're going to bed. Great. Guys, thanks so much. Thank you hey, so much. Thank you, thank you very much. much.